Okay, let's create some outline text. Outline text is really simple, but there's a few housekeeping steps even with this I'd like to show you first. We'll click on the plus sign, top right hand side there, and create a new document. Create a new document there. Now, it's on photo because for this section, I like photos, but it's in inches. What I prefer to work in is pixels, just for this exercise. And I prefer to work in portrait, so let's do portrait. Now we'll create the document. That comes up and we've got a nice document, but you'll notice, how do I save this? How do I create something I can call back later? If you look in there, you can export it and you can save a copy. Save a copy of what, I ask you. Okay, let's go back and have a look there you can see it's untitled. Let's give it a title, rename it, and we'll call it Outline Text. Okay, click on OK. That obviously saves it onto the iPad. We can click on Save. And there we go. If you backtrack there, you'll see the little pop-up that says saved on my iPad. That's where you want it. It's, it's in the little folder that's attached to the Photos app that allows you to save it. Now I'm just reducing the borders there so I can see the, the whole canvas. I like to be able to see the canvas. So let's get started with some text. We'll click on the artboard, art text tool down here. Drag out some letters. We don't need them too big. We don't want Arial. Arial's too plain. Plain as. Let's go find something nice. Brixton Sands. There we go. 51 points. Let's test the size. subscribe. Now there's a clue for you. Now on the iPad, how do we get that centered? There's no built-in center lines. Show you what I mean. Let's see if we can move that. You'll see no center line comes up there, up and down, uh, slowly, 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 slowly. No. So on the desktop, you'll have center lines come up there. But what we need to do is go here Put in some guides down the bottom here. Add horizontal, add vertical, and lock those guides in place so they don't move. Now, we can come back to the move tool and move our word, subscribe, right to the center of the page. Now, back on the art text, I've just highlighted all that. We're going to go over to the FX bar on the side here. And I've held that on there too long. Let's go back to the move tool and move that back on screen. There's our bars. Let's highlight our text again. Now this time, without any messing about, let's go to the effects. Now what we want is outline. Click on outline, tap on outline so it highlights. Now go down the bottom and you can see a solid color. We don't, well, the text is black, so we don't want the outline text. Let's uh, black, so let's change the outline to red. Then we'll be able to really see it. And it's, you'll notice the outside and the pixel width is ten. And that's all there is to it. the word subscribe.
Couple of easy steps. Now, you really want to save that. So let's go up here and you've got save. That's saving it to where it was. But let's go and have a look again. You want to save a copy. Outline text, AF photo, save history. Do you want to save the history? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Save. Now it will come up and say, where would you like to save it? Well, I want a copy on my iCloud drive. You'll notice up the top here, it's top right hand corner, it says add. Now, AF photo is a drive I created on iCloud. If you go to Affinity Photo, which is the one that's created by the app itself, you can't add things to it like this. So you will have to create your own directory if you want to save as. Now, if I add outline text AF photo, it will go to AF photo. And that's all there is to it. Back there, and there's subscribe, outline text. And that's the end of the lesson.